Iravat Foundation Manipur demands government to disclose compensation procedure for drought affected farmers of the state. And schools in remote areas of the state lay in deplorable condition despite government's initiative to enhance education sector. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You are watching Afternoon News. I'm Ibeto Talk John with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Iravad Foundation Manipur organized one day farmers' meet on drought in Manipur at Manipur Press Club today. Farmers from across the state and leaders of various civil society organizations took part in the event. Speaking on the occasion, IFM General Secretary K.H. Gopin stated that farmers across the state are facing plights due to scanty rain this year. He lauded the state government's initiative of declaring drought in the state, though it is behind time. Gopin urged the government to inform about compensation procedure for the drought-affected farmers. He also urged the government to form a committee to monitor the merits and demerits of works carried out with huge investments by Kada, Water Resources and the Agriculture Department to irrigate the drought-affected paddy fields. MI Kada Fisheries, the Agriculture, Water Resources, Nursing, Basing Sina, see the Dung Semba, Quigi, Sahi Taragi, Mamangi, Sem Dona Lava, see in the Tambam Laitrava, Quigi, Adumba, Kenel, Beresing Ado, Pilda Lay, Brahabudugi, Madugi, Kanga Naba, Peg Pining Timama, Sizu, Civil Society, or I send over Peg Pining Timama, Adu with the Semba Dabani, Adu Sema Lurakan, Maduna, Kenotorakan, Maduda Sienamba, Opisaro Egara, Mantri Uegara, Madu, Musing the Book to Godabni, have a say, Quigi Rabu Pong, the Semani Purgi, Amatangaraba, Quidiman, Uzanini, Quigi Sumba, Masiki, and Osida Campion Sisan. Government appeared upon Matamasida, Quigi, Angang Singi, pre education, Uhenba, electricity, pre Uhenba, Tanganabi Sing, pre Uhenba, Adu the Natana Matamzana and Abotsingu, Semba Yananaba, Gribans and Hang Manasingba, Akoi Mayam Pakala Ningi. Many schools in remote areas of the state remain in deplorable condition despite government's initiative to enhance education sector of the state by recently launching School Fagathansi Mission. An exclusive report in this regard from Impact News reporter Vakta Tarambam and video journalist P. Bobo. Kwarok Maring UJB School under Lorembam Gram Panchayat in Hairok constituency lays in a deplorable condition. Four teachers are teaching 35 students from class 1 to 5. Teachers are conducting classes for all the students in a single rental room since the deplorable school building may collapse at any moment. Villagers said that the local MLA, who is also the state education minister, told them that the village is not under his jurisdiction upon being approached to improve the school infrastructure. On the other hand, chairman of Sadar Hills Autonomous District Council told them that the village is under the education minister's jurisdiction. Chief of Kwarug Maring Village, P.H. Laidun, stated that the villagers whose primary occupation is agriculture are struggling to send their children for education in nearby schools. The <laughs> Sing my sing a quiggy filter, a quiggy sing hapom, a pop, a sing tapom, papa, late, sing basu, coding maxi aina, lay hanningba. 
Villagers express that they have no other options but to send their children in the deplorable school. They appeal to the relevant authorities to improve the school infrastructure and not to deprive the educational rights of the village children. Si amna nungai tapa hab tare. Skun si skun thamba du su menung da su amna pat tapa hab tare. Lai ngoi gumba thamba gumba upun gumba. Dum angang sing du si da lairik tam haladi he na brain du amna su su ani adu ka oza sing du hab di moi su kaisu ngang da bamale. Ato pat tam hanga da du su hoi di amna lai tam ni na. Yamna lay rab ni na singi mi ni na ko. Kau dah tahu pas sekolah yamna ling pada tag dah udah su. Yamna wah bahaya tare. Yaru di kau si sekolah si. Kau dah pasal na siam haning eh. With inputs from Impact News reporter Bhakta Tarangbam and video journalist P Bobo, this is Joyce Riusham, Impact News, Kwarok Maring Village. Gua Khal Government Primary School. Jakura Dhor Part 1 LP School, Netaji High School and Boro Bekra Higher Secondary School under Jakura Dhor and Boro Bekra Gram Panchayats of Barak Circle in Juribam District are in a pathetic condition due to lack of proper infrastructure and adequate teachers. Classes for students of various standards are held in a single classroom due to inadequate classrooms in the schools. Students are at risk as the deplorable Jakuradhor Part 1 LP school building may collapse during heavy storm. School headmaster K.H. Dinesh appealed to the relevant authorities to look into the matter. While there is no teacher for mathematics subject, social sciences subject for class 9 and 10 and mathematics subjects teachers for lower classes at Netazi High School and the road leading to Boro Bekra Higher Secondary is in a pathetic condition bringing much plights to students and teachers. School principal G. Manglem stated that the school with a strength of 531 students and 35 teachers lacks staff quarters. He also said that teachers and students feel unease to hold classes behind the crack walls of the school building caused by an earthquake few years ago. I subject teacher problem. I am main APR to give suppose SSLC APR to give you last year so to give subject and give you a little bit and I wanna give my themselves the PPR to give you a little bit of the APR to give you a little bit of social science to give you class 9 10 to give you a little bit of the problem social science to give you a subject to give you a little bit of the ASM to give you a little bit of the English to give you Chief Minister Nongtoma Biren extended her cheers greetings to teachers on the occasion of Teachers Day Celebration 2019. In his message, the Chief Minister said that teachers set children into responsible citizens and thus set the nation. He said the nation holds Teachers Day Celebration on September 5 every year in memory of the first Vice President and the second President of India, Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan, on his birthday. Chief Minister Birain said that Teachers Day is a tribute to the contributions made by teachers towards society. Women Against Crime in a press release notified that a commemorative event will be held at GM Hall on September 20 at 10 a.m. to pay tribute to those brutally murdered women of the state. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on arrest of Congress leader Siv Kumar in money laundering case by Enforcement Directorate. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Afternoon News. Enforcement Directorate has arrested senior Congress leader from Karnataka D.K. Siv Kumar in connection with money laundering case. The former minister and sitting Emily appeared before the ED for questioning for the fourth time yesterday at his headquarters in New Delhi. Siv Kumar was placed under arrest as per provisions of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act last night. 
Officials said the Provisancy wants the Congress leader to be put through custodial interrogation and hence he was arrested. Siv Kumar will be produced before a court in New Delhi today by the ED for seeking his custody. The central agency had in September last year registered a money laundering case against Siv Kumar Anjaneya Hanumantia, an employee at Karnataka Bhavan in New Delhi and others. Siv Kumar had had to appear before the agency after the Karnataka High Court last week dismissed his petition challenging the summons issued to him by the ED. The ED had filed a PMLA case against him and others based on a charge seat filed by the Income Tax Department against them last year before a special court in Bengaluru on charges of alleged tax evasion and hawala transactions worth cross. The IT department has accused Siv Kumar and his associate SK Sarma of transporting huge amounts of unaccounted cash on a regular basis through hawala channels with the help of three other accused. India's moon lander Vikram is all set to land on the moon on September 7 with Indian Space Research Organization completing the second and final deorbital operation successfully this morning. According to ISRO, Vikram's second deorbital operations began at 3.42 a.m. using the onboard propulsion system and was completed in 9 seconds. With this operation, the required orbit for the Vikram to commence is destined toward the surface of the moon is achieved. The touchdown on the moon's south polar region will be between 1.30 a.m. and 2.30 a.m. on September 7. After the touchdown by Vikram, the rover Prakyan will roll down from the former to carry out the research for which it has been designed. On Monday afternoon, the Vikram separated from its mother spacecraft Chandrayaan-2. Chandrayaan-2 was launched into the space by India's heavy lift rocket geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle Mark III in a textbook style on July 22. In sports, five-day cricket coaching camp for visually impaired kicked off at the conference hall of Home for the Blind Sai Rot, organized by the Welfare Association for Blind Takil today. Proprietor of the Arun Enterprises, T.H. Arun Kumar, Chairman of Notice Journal Coordination Committee and Secretary of Spastic Society Manipur, El Rakendro Riki, former headmaster of the Ideal Blind School Takil, Y. Brazamohan, and eminent members of WAB took part in the event. Bengals international cricket player Tanumoy Bhaumik and Jharkhand's national cricket player Sanjeev Karketa will coach 25 visually impaired players. Practical sessions will be held at the playground of Takil Kongban United Progressive Organization. Blind cricket traces its origin to the 1920s in Australia when blind people listening to a cricket series on the radio decided to give it a go. India started holding Blind Cricket Event in 1980, the first World Blind Cricket Cup 1998, followed by the Blind World Cup T20 in 2012. Speaking at the inaugural event, proprietor of Arun Enterprises, T.H. Arun Kumar, urged people to encourage physical challenge sports persons. <laughs> Former India 2020 international captain Mithali Ras on Tuesday announced retirement, retirement from T20 internationals. The 36-year-old said she wants to focus on her ODI career, keeping in mind the 2021 World Cup in New Zealand. 
The veteran cricketer's announcement came as a surprise, considering that she had last week made herself available for the home series against South Africa beginning from 24th of this month. Mitali ended her T20 career with 2,364 runs from 89 matches at an average of 37.5 and the highest score of 97 not out. She made her T20 international debut in 1999 and played her latest match in March against England in Guwahati. Mithali is also the first Indian woman to reach the landmark of 2,000 T20 runs. The senior opener captained the country in three two T20 internationals, including the three World Cups in 2012 Sri Lanka, 2014 Bangladesh and 2016 India. In 203 ODIs, he scored 6,720 runs at an average of 51.29 with 700s. She has also played in 10 tests with 663 runs, including 100. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Iran with foundation money put demands government to disclose compensation for seizure for drought affected farmers of the state. And schools in remote areas of the state lay in deplorable condition despite government's initiative to enhance education sector.